Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this short tutorial I'd like to show you how you can have your character transition between maps by stepping onto specific squares. So this is one of the very basic things that uh, just about every RPG is going to need to have. I have two events of this type set up here, so I'll show you what it looks like and then I'll show you how to add it. Let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so I'll just use uh, clicking to get there. And as you see, when I stepped on that square, uh, it basically took me to this second map. Uh, if you see on the left, that's the dorms map. Um, now, currently, I don't have a event on this map to transition back into the other map. So that's what we'll add here in a second. Uh, so let's go ahead and exit out of the game and uh, go into the dorms map. So these are the two squares that we're actually going to want to add the event to to return to the castle map. And uh, as you can see, I'm in the... Uh, what's it actually called? Uh, the uh, event square selector uh, mode, whatever you actually call it. And what we're going to need to do is double click on the square. And we can type in a map, uh, an event for instance. Uh, go back to castle. And then for the contents, uh, we can leave everything else as the defaults because it's just a walking event when the character walks into the square, this triggers. And we can go to contents in order to uh, create this event. So let's see here. Oh yeah, it's actually on the second page. Um, so movement, transfer player, that's what we're looking for. Uh, we have to set our designation, uh, basically the place where we want to return to. So clicking on the castle map, we want to return to this square because uh, this side of the doorway basically corresponds with this spot right here. So hit OK. Hit OK. And we can go ahead and apply this and run it. So let's get to this side of the door. And now we can return. Now, you'll notice that the sound effect didn't play on the, uh, basically on the return transition. And there's a couple reasons for that. Um, one is that basically these transitions were actually created using the quick transition method. Um, double clicking the square is actually the, the slow way to do very basic transitions like that. A quicker way for, uh, basically there's only four, um, events that work like this, but a quicker way to do a, trans a transition or a transfer is to uh, right click on the square, go to event creation, transfer, and then uh, choose the square you want to return to like normal. Uh, choose the direction you want the character to be facing when he uh, travels down there, and hit OK. Now, Basically, these two methods did the same thing, but if we double click on this event, the uh, quick transfer event, we can actually see that it's also playing a sound effect, the move sound effect, as it transitions to the other square. Whereas the manually created one only did the transfer and didn't add the sound effect. Um, so likewise, if you wanted to add in a lot more things that happen, maybe it triggers uh, something else, like a switch within your um within your game then you can modify the event fully and customize it a lot more but if you're just looking for the quick way then just right clicking going to event creation and transfer is perfectly fine alternatively uh, select the square and hit control one on your keyboard so that's really all there is to basic transitioning between maps inside of rpg maker mv i hope this helped you out i've been chris if you want you can check out my patreon and i'll see you in my next video